Hey, what's up, y'all? It's been quite a while since I've been able to post a video, uh, simply just because I've been gone lately. Uh, I do see y'all's comments coming through, so don't worry. I just Some of them I've been able to reply to, some of them I have not, just because I've been gone. You know, I went to boot camp some months ago. Uh, I want to say back in June. So it's been a while. It has. Uh, and I'm glad I'm posting again, because I've got a lot of content I need to get down but work obviously comes first at the end of the day because it's the Marine Corps, you know. So, you know, I just got here to the fleet, so right now I'm just focused on work. You know, I experiment with fragrances outside of being on camera. So, you know, at this point, you know, it's, it's been busy, but I'm glad I'm back. And I've got one video I need to discuss today that I want to discuss that's been on my mind lately and I haven't been able to post it. And it's a newer fragrance I've had in my collection. I just never opened it. And, uh, yeah. So, before we get into that, uh, y'all have seen my previous video on Creed Aventus and, uh, what was it? Late and Exclusive by Parfum Mr. Marley. Now, those fragrances are back home. I yet to got those sent down here in the mail uh, from my old house back when I was living with my parents at the time. Uh, I was working a job doing landscaping. Now, I'm not doing that anymore. I'm focused on specifically the Marine Corps, because, you know, I, I signed up for that, so that's my job. But fragrance is still stuck with me, uh, and it always will, I think, honestly. It can, it's, you know, you got, if, if you're going to look good in uniform, you got to at least smell good. So fragrances have been, been a big hobby, and, uh, yeah, so I haven't been able to get those two fragrances sent back to me. However, I bought another bottle of Creed Aventus while I was down here, because... I want to wear this one. This has always been a go-to. Like I said, if you're aware of what's been going on in the fragrance community, uh, Creed sold their company out. Again, I mentioned that in the last video. So this is a newer batch. This is not an older batch. I walked into a fragrance shop. Honestly, I have no problems with this one, personally. It smells great. It projects long. It lasts long. Yeah, it's a little bit, it's still got that birch char to it, but it's, it's not, it's a little bit fruity. Uh, it doesn't quite last as long as previous batches, obviously, but it still it gets the job done. I can't complain. You know, I, would I like to have a vintage batch? Sure. Am I gonna have to pay for the price of a vintage batch? Fuck no. It's not worth the money, in my opinion. So, no. However, it's a great fragrance. Bottle is still no longer in the four ounce bottle. It's in the hundred mil. But I am looking forward to this one aging out a little bit, and obviously when Creed fragrances age, they usually get a little bit of a yellow tint to it. So I'm just waiting for like you know that oxygen to just get to it. So because honestly, it's gonna smell better when once it has a little bit of aging on it. So that's just gonna take a couple months before it really gets to where I want it to like mature over time. So yeah, that was just a brief discussion over this one. We got a new fragrance here that I need to get into that I've been wanting to get into for quite a while. And I've been hearing this one's been discontinued lately. It's been out for years, so it's, this is nothing new. And it's just nothing is new. It's not, it's, you know, this has been out for years just as much as this one's been out for years now. So none of these fragrances are brand new releases. I do have some new fragrances in my collection I'm going to make videos on that are brand new. So just bear with me. I'm going to get those uploaded as soon as possible. But anyway, this is, if you haven't seen it, and if you're a fragrance connoisseur, you already recognize the fucking bottle here well not the bottle but the actual uh packaging and it's ultra male by lamal i went and scooped up a bottle of it because lately i've been hearing throughout fragrance community that this fragrance has been discontinued or it's going to be discontinued i used to not like it being honest with you, i used to not like this fragrance tried it on today and it's pretty good i was back at the fragrance shop so fell in love with it and I got it, and now I'm getting around to uploading this one. So, let's go ahead and open it, see how this one smells. Uh, give me my impressions on it. Like I said, I gotta give you, I, I, I'll get back with you for a full impression because it's gonna take some time to wear. I like to sleep on fragrances and uh, see how they do and perform and just overall get a full, review of it over time because I can't judge a fragrance until I've had it for a while. So I didn't scoop up for the large bottle. I went ahead and got a smaller bottle of this one because I've got enough fragrances as it is in my collection and 
being in the Marine Corps, it's a little bit difficult. You don't want to have a whole bunch of shit, even though I'm at my permanent duty station. So there's no sense in buying large bottles. It's pointless. Uh, Cause you won't have to lug that stuff around. But here it is, full display, bottle, an actual display here where the bottle sits in its place. Now let's see if I can pull up the badge code on this one for you. Uh, this is badge 11091. I don't know how old this batch is. I'd have to look at uh, look it up online that I can get to it. Um, if anybody does know, it's very familiar with batches on this fragrance, please comment down in the comment section. Maybe you uh, guys might have a little bit of information on this batch. But yeah, so let's go ahead and um, give this one a spray. Uh, can't smell anything off the atomizer. Let's see here. Nothing's on this hand. Took a couple sprays. That is gorgeous. I really do enjoy this fragrance. Yeah, is it overworn? Sure, because a lot of dudes wear this fragrance today, but honestly, you know, if it's something you enjoy, wear it. Forget what people think. You know, forget. Don't let the fragrance community persuade you. Yeah, everyone wears it, so you shouldn't wear it. I'm an individual when it comes to fragrances. I'm not here to impress anybody. I'm here for do it for self enjoyment. And sure, do a lot of guys wear it? Sure, whatever. If I, if a lot of people wear it out in public, I might just wear it around the house. Um, if I'm going out, I might put something on different that not everyone's wearing. Cause sure, I can understand. I don't want to smell like everyone, but like on my own time, you know, I personally enjoy my fragrances on my own time too. And this is a solid fragrance. I get a lot of pear off this fragrance, like it is mentioned before. And it's a bit fruity. It's very, it's an, a very nice sweet fragrance as well. Uh, if you're not in the sweet fragrances, you're not going to enjoy this one, uh, probably. But if you are in sweet fragrances, you're definitely going to enjoy this one. Because I, as far as like sweet fragrances go, this is up there with Versace Eros and many other fragrances like that, like One Million, Paco Rupon any of the Parker Ribbon releases like Invictus uh, any of the, it really any of the Invictus line it, those are sweet fragrances just like this one and I really enjoyed this one uh, this is a solid fragrance uh, we'll see how, it, how my opinion goes on this one uh, as I continue to wear this fragrance through time if I enjoy it which I know I, I'm pretty sure I'm still going to enjoy this one I don't, I don't see how I couldn't enjoy it this is just a very great fragrance. This one, honestly, from the way I can, I'm able to, to, you know, tell the way this smells and just describe it, this is gonna be a winter fragrance in fall. I can't see myself bringing this one out during the summer. It's gonna, be, it's gonna get a bit clawing, especially where I am. Yeah, I'm not back in my home state anymore. Uh, I'm actually in North Carolina now, and North Carolina still gets hot during the summer. So this one's not gonna be great for the summer. But we still have plenty of time now during this season where it's going to be cold, where I can get away with this fragrance. So I'll get plenty of wear during it for a while now until it starts warming up. But it's a great fragrance. It's solid, very solid fragrance. Um, so far, there's no complaints on my end. I, don't, I think the projection on this one's going to be pretty monstrous, if I'm being honest with you. I think the longevity is going to be pretty great on it too. Now, I do feel like this one might settle down. Even though it's gonna be monstrous, I feel like this fragrance, just by the way this DNA feels, because I've been dealing with fragrances for quite a while, it's going, it, I, what I feel how this fragrance is gonna go is it's gonna, it's gonna be monstrous for at least an hour. I'm, that's what I, I, I feel like this might last maybe one or two hours of some strong production, and I feel like it's going to like start getting close to like a skin scent, a little bit closer to the skin. Because I see that happen with a lot of uh, designer sweet fragrances. Uh, as far as niche, that's the whole different field. But with designer fragrances like these, they project very long. Not well, they, pro they project very wide. 
but they don't project very wide for like six hours, you know. It, it kind of calms down. And already it's kind of doing that a little bit. So I can already sense where this is gonna go. But yeah, this is an enjoyable fragrance. Uh, go for it if you can find it around you. I don't know if it's discontinued fully yet. This fragrance shop I went to down here uh, just so happened to have it. Uh, they had a couple bottles. I had a couple of the large bottles and I had a couple of the small bottles. So I went ahead and shot for a small bottle because there's no sense in getting a large one with all the fragrances I have. But uh, yeah, go for it, guys. I recommend this one. This is, uh, if I was to give it a rating out of this one, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. It's not perfect, but it's very good, though. It has that designer quality to it. That's why I wouldn't quite give it a 10. Because it smells a little bit generic, but not really. I enjoyed this one, though. It's good. Really, well, really, that's all I have for you for today in this video. Uh, if you guys want to see some more, I've got some more videos that I'm planning on making. At least three or more videos coming up soon, hopefully. If I, get, if I can find some time to getting around to it, we'll, we'll, we'll make it happen. But other than that, y'all guys take care. And uh, you'll see me again soon.